Okay, boys and girls, this is our third book in theme number seven, Fearfully and Wonderfully Made, and the title is Happy, Healthy Me by Robert Robinson, illustrated by Mark Decker. And don't forget, this is the front cover, this would be the spine, and this is the back cover. And in the middle of the book are the pages. Very good. Happy, Healthy Me, written by Robert Robinson, illustrated by Mark Decker. Remember, the author is the person that writes the book, and the illustrator makes the pictures. Let's read here. Hi, my name is Hiro Masa, but most of the time my family and friends call me Hiro. In Japanese, my name means that I am wise, a wise thinker, and that I do the right thing. My mother and father are helping me grow up to be a thinker. They are also helping me learn how to make good choices and do the, the right thing. They tell me I am living up to my name, but I don't even know what that means yet. My father and mother tell me that I am doing a good job at making good choices. That that makes me feel good when they tell me that. I want to keep making good choices so I can say it's good choices for me. But it is not always easy to make the right choice. Sometimes my father reads one of his favorite Bible verses to me. Sometimes he reads it to me a lot. The Bible says, think about the things that are good. Think about the things that are true and right and respected. That's in Philippians 4, 8. My father says, if I remember to always think about things that are good and right and true and respected, then I'll know how to make good choices when I am bigger. I don't think your name is Hiromasa, but your name might not even mean, and your name might not even mean wise thinker, but I know you can grow up thinking about things that are good and right and true and respected. As you keep growing, you'll learn how to make good choices too. Then you can say, it's good choices for me. So many choices. Mother, are you ready to go to the store now? Hero asked as he held up some money tightly in his hand. His grandfather had given him six dollars for his birthday. Today, Mother had promised to take Harumasa to the store so he could spend his birthday money. I'm almost ready to go, Mother answered. So she went to the closet and began looking through the pocket of her blue jacket. Soon Hero heard the family Oh, pardon me. Soon Hero heard the familiar jingle jangle of his mother's keys. Yes, Hero ex exclaimed. Now we can go to the store. She slipped his birthday money. He slipped his birthday money into his pocket as he walked out to the truck. Mother, I think it's going to take me a long time to decide what to buy at the store. Hero announced on the way to the store. There are lots of things I want. We'll just have to wait and see, his mother answered. Hero and his mother walked around and around inside the store. Hero went to the video game first, to the video games first. I want a new game, but I don't know, but, pardon me, I want a new game, but I know I don't have enough money, he said. Hero didn't look at the video games for too long. He led his mother to the toy section. He looked at all the scoopers and sifters that he could use in his sandbox. He looked at the sandcastle molds and dump, dump trucks, too. I don't think I want anything for my sandbox, Hero said as he moved on to the book section. Hero looked at the books about trucks and trains. He looked at the books about bunnies and bears. He even looked at books about places far away. I don't want to buy a book, Hero told his mother. I can get books at the library. Soon Hero and his mother walked by a row with lots of candy. 
There were candy bars and candy treats. There were all kinds of gummy candies and bubble gum too. Hmm, I don't think I... I don't think that would be the best thing to buy, Hero told himself as he kept walking through the store. Then he saw it. It was green and purple. It was, it was bushy and tall. It was just what he wanted to buy that day. I know what I, I know what to buy, he exclaimed. I'll buy the plant with the purple flowers. Hero walked over to the plant and carefully picked it up. Do I have enough money for this? Hero asked his mother. His mother looked at the price tag and answered, Yes, you do. But what are you going to do with the plant? I'm going to give it to you and father to plant in the front yard, Hero answered. Then all of us can see it every day. I think that's a very good choice, Mother replied. Hero smiled as he carried his plant towards the cash, cash register. Yep, it's good choices for me. Shopping for a rainbow. Hero, Father called. I have a shopping list ready. Let's go to the market now. Today we're going to play a game while we do our shopping, Father explained as he drove to the market. I want to see how well you remember your Japanese. Okay, Hiro replied. In the store, Father handed Hiro the shopping list. There are several things we need to get, Father said. I want to see if you can tell me in Japanese what we need. I think I can do that, Hiro said as he held held on to the edge of the grocery cart. See if you can tell me what we need. We need something round and red and sweet. I think that might be Ringo, Hiro answered. We need apples. That's correct, Father replied. Next, we need something long, crunchy, and orange. I know, Hiro exclaimed. We need ninjin, carrots, and he chose some carrots to put in the cart. Very good, Father replied. Now we need something that is juicy and sweet and yellow. Sometimes Mother slices them for dessert. Hero looked around at, the fr uh, at all the fruits and vegetables in the market. Nashi, he answered. Mother wants us to get some pears. You're right again, my son, father said. We need something else that is juicy. Sometimes it's sweet and sometimes it's a little bit sour. It can look dark, dark blue. That's easy, Hero said. Peru, peramu, per, or puramu, plums. I like them. Sometimes mother puts one on one in my lunch for school. Father looked at his list. There's something else we need. Round, it's round, it's green. Sometimes it can be crunchy and sometimes it can be soft. What can it be? Hero wondered. He looked around at all the vegetables as he tried to find something that is round and green and can be crunchy or soft. Kayabetsu, he answered. Cabbage, the cabbage is crunchy in a salad or soft when mother cooks it in soup. You're doing very well, Hero, father said. There's something else we need. It's long and skinny and purple, Hero thought. How do I say eggplant in Japanese? He forgot for a few moments and then said, I think we need nasu. You're right, father said, as he gave Hero a high five. We need eggplant for our supper. There's only one thing left on our list. We need gem, gem mai, or gemai, father added. I know what that is, Hiro said. That's brown rice. I love brown rice. After father placed the bag of brown rice in their cart, they walked to the checkout line. As they stood waiting for their turn to pay, Hiro looked at all the food they had in the cart. 
There were red apples, orange carrots, yellow pears, green cabbage, blue, uh, deep blue plums, purple eggplant, and brown rice. Hero's eyes got big and wide as he looked at the food at the grocery cart. Father, he interrupted, I see red Ringo and orange Ninjin, yellow Nashi, green Kaibetsu, deep blue Paramu, and purple Nasu. I think we're going to eat a Naiji, a rainbow. We have every color of the rainbow in our cart. Father looked at the fruits and vegetables as he paid for them. All these different colors of fruits and vegetables will help you grow strong and healthy, Father explained. Some foods give you energy to make you move. Some foods give you energy to grow. Some foods give you energy to think. I can't wait for Mother to cook supper for us, Hero offered, because I am going to eat a rainbow of foods to give me lots of energy to play in the park. It's more good choices for me. A day in the park. Mother, Hero called as he jumped out of bed. Do you feel better today? Hero hurried down the hallway to find out if his mother was feeling better. She hadn't been feeling well the day before, but she had promised Hero that if she felt well in the morning, they would go to the park to play. Hero wanted to find out if they would be going to the park today. Yesterday, Hero had had to play indoors. He had lots of toys to play with, but he was tired of them. He had lots of books to read, but he didn't want to look at any of them again. Hero was even tired of watching his favorite DVDs. When Hero walked down the hallway as, oh, pardon me. When Hero walked down the hallway, he was glad to find that mother and father were already awake. Mother was in the kitchen fixing breakfast and father was in the garage putting some toys in the car. I'm feeling much better today, Mother explained. So after breakfast, we'll get ready to go to the park. Yes, Hero replied as he watched Mother getting their breakfast ready. Hero watched as Mother rinsed some of the blueberries and sliced strawberries into a bowl. Hero watched as Mother added some little chunks of honeydew melon and diced pear into the bowl. He watched as she finished slicing some orange sections and added them to the bowl. I know what you're doing, Hero began. You're making a Naiji salad. Father told me it's important to eat lots of different colored colors of food. That, that, that'll give me energy to play and grow and think. I want lots and lots of that rainbow salad. It's good. It's more good choices for me. Mother chuckled as she scooped some rainbow salad into a bowl for Hero. Yes, this rainbow salad will help give you energy for playing in the park, and so will this bowl of oatmeal. Before too long, Hero had finished his rainbow Naiji salad and his bowl of oatmeal. Mother had the dishes washed. Father grabbed some water bottles before they headed out to the car. Come on, mother and father, Hero urged. Let's go to the park. I've got lots of energy now. At the park, Hero had lots of fun. He climbed up the ladder and then zipped down the slide. He climbed up the ladder and zipped down the slide again. Father followed right behind Hero and slid down the slide too. I've got lots of energy for swinging, Hero almost sang as he raced towards the swings. Father, can you please push me on the swings? Hero climbed up into the swing. Father gave him a gentle push. Higher, higher, Hero squealed with delight as he seemed to sail through the air. Hero tried to make his legs pump back and forth to make himself swing higher and faster. Father, I can feel the wind blowing on me, Hero shared with his father. It feels like the wind could push me right off the swing. 
All that fresh air is good for you, Father explained. Fresh air is good for your lungs and can help you keep and can help keep you healthy. Now hold on tight because I'm going to give you another super duper push. Hero held on tight while his father gave him another big push. This is a good this is a good choice for me, he said as he sailed through the air. Before too long, Hero was ready for a new adventure at the park. I see bars to climb on, he told his family. I have lots of energy for climbing. Hero climbed across the bars and on the jungle gym. He slid down a pole and then climbed right back up the pole across the bars again. He slid down the pole. Father climbed on the bars and tried to keep up with Hero too. Pretty soon, Hero was feeling hot and sweaty. He walked over to his mother, sitting sitting on a bench. I'm hot, he announced, nearly out of breath, and I'm thirsty too. I've been getting lots of exercise this morning. Yo, oh, pardon me. You've been getting lots of exercise this morning, his mother explained, as she pulled another water bottle out of her backpack. Hero began to sip from his own bottle of water. All that fresh air and exercise will help your heart and lungs work better. It helps to make them stronger, mother explained. When you're, when you're healthy, you have lots of energy to run and climb and, and swing. Your body also works better when it's used in a lot of different ways. Bending, stretching, running, skipping, and playing ball are all good ways to help your body. That's more good choices for me, Hero said as he showed his family how he could bend and stretch and move his body in many different ways. Hero reached for his water bottle as Mother continued. Water is also good for your body. Your body needs water every day. Water helps you cool off after you've been working or playing hard. Water also helps keep you healthy. Hero picked up his water bottle again and took three big sips of cool water. That's lots of good choices for me. While Hero was drinking his water, Mother pulled out a bottle of sunscreen from her backpack. You've been out in the sun too, Mother added. The sun is good for you. The sun helps your body make vitamins, which can help keep you healthy but too much sun is not good for you. Mother rubbed some sunscreen over Hero's face, arm, neck, and legs. Too much sun can make your skin turn red and feel very warm and sore, Mother explained. That's a sunburn, Hero added. You're right, Mother replied. That's why it's a good idea to wear sunscreen if you're going to be outside in the sun for a long time. In fact, why don't we go sit with Father in the shade for a while? I have some trucks and cars that you can play with. That's another good choice for me, Hero said as he helped his mother carry the cars and trucks over to the shade. As Hero got closer to where his father was in the shade, he noticed the father was sleeping. Look, mother, Hero whispered, father is sleeping. I think too many good choices tired him out. <laughs> Turn the page. Not ready for bed. Hero, call, Hero, father called from the living room. It's time to get ready for bed. Hero slowly walked to his bedroom. His father, pardon me, father had already pulled out his pajamas for the night. After Hero had his pajamas on, father carefully pulled back the blanket and the sheets. He gently fluffed the pillow for Hero's head, oh, of Hero's bed. It's bedtime, father said as he gently patted the bed. Hero just started at the bed. I can't go to bed yet, Hero said. I have to go brush my teeth. Hero walked down the hallway to the bathroom. He carefully brushed his teeth before heading back to his bedroom. It's bedtime, father said as he gently patted the bed. Hero stared at his bed again. I can't go to bed yet, Hero said. You haven't read me a story. Hero chose a favorite story book for his father to read. When the story was finished, father said, It's time for bed now. Hero sat on the edge of the bed. I can't go to bed yet, he said. I have to go give mother a goodnight kiss. So Hero went down the hall 
to the living room to give his mother a big hug and kiss. When Hero got back, his father said, it's time for bed now. Hero stood and looked at his bed. I can't go to bed yet, he said. I need to, I need to get a drink. Father walked with Hero to the bathroom to get a drink of water. Soon Hero was back in his bedroom. It's time for bed now, Father said as he patted the bed. Once again, Hero looked at his bed. I can't go to bed yet, Hero said. I haven't said my prayers. Together, Father and, he and Hero kneeled down by the bed. Hero prayed, Dear Jesus, thank you for my family. Thank you for a fun day at the park. Keep me safe tonight. I love you. Amen. Father helped Hero climb into bed. Father pulled the blankets up over Hero's shoulders. But Father, Hero pleaded, I don't want to go to bed. I know you don't want to go to sleep, Father said, but your body needs time to rest. Father gently rubbed Hero's back as he continued to explain, Your body has worked hard today, and every day your body is growing just a little bit more. When you work and play during the day, your body needs time to rest at night. Resting is a good choice you can make. You mean going to bed is a good choice for me? Hero asked. Yes, it is, Father answered as he continued to rub Hero's back. Then I'll wake up a healthy kid, Hero said before he fell asleep. Let's see if I got this right. Yep. Afraid in a storm. Hero, mother called from the front room. Your favorite animals, animal show is on TV right now. Hero stopped playing with his trucks in his bedroom and hurried to the front room. He stretched out on the floor, ready to look, listen, and learn. I wonder what animal we'll get to see tonight, Hero asked. I think it's going to be about nighttime animals in the forest, Father answered. I wonder if they'll show any raccoons. Hero inquired. I like raccoons. I think they're cute. As Hero and his family watched the nighttime animals, watched about nighttime animals, outside the wind was beginning to blow. Tiny little raindrops began to tap against the window on the roof. Could you please turn the volume up a little bit, Mother asked. The wind and rain are making it hard to hear the TV. Father turned up the volume on the TV just a little. But outside, the wind continued to blow. The rain continued to tap against the windows and up on the roof. And now a little bit of thunder began to boom outside. The thunder made the windows rattle. The thunder made, made some of the vases on the shelf rattle too. I think you need to turn the volume up a little more, Hero said, as he moved to snuggle close to his father. Father turned up the volume a little bit more, but still the wind continued to blow. The rain continued to tap against the windows and up on the roof. And then flash, lightning lit up the nighttime sky and boom, and the boom of a thunder got closer and louder. In a, in, in a lightning storm like this, we need to turn... The TV off, Father explained as Hero climbed up onto his father's lap. Just as Father turned off the, the TV, pop, all the lights went out in the house. The, the house became very dark and very quiet. All Hero could see was the flashing of the lightning through the windows. Father turned the lights back on. Hero stated as... Oh, Father, turn the lights back on, Hero stated as he held on tight to his father's arm. I don't think I don't think he can do that, Mother said. I think the storm has called our caused our electricity to go out. The dark might be okay for raccoons, Hero said, but I don't like it. I'm scared. I'll go get some candles, Mother volunteered. Hero, you just stay right there on your father's lap. That's a very safe place for you right now. We can also trust God to keep us safe. Trusting God sounds like a good choice to me, Hero tried Hero tried to say bravely. He held on tight to father's arm while mother 
while Mother slowly walked across the room to get emergency candles. Mother lit the candles and placed them on the mantel above the fireplace. Soon after Mother sat back on the couch, the lights in the house began to flicker as the electricity came back on. We're safe, Hero exclaimed. The lights went out and now they came back on and we are safe. Yes, we are, Father said. We can finish watching about the nighttime animals. Oh, can we finish watching about the nighttime animals now? Hero asked. Before we do that, Father began, I think we should thank God for keeping us safe during the storm. You're right, Mother agreed. Father took out his Bible and read one of his favorite verses for when he was afraid and unsure of what to do. Father read, I trust in the Lord for my protection. Psalm 11, 1. Because God is with us, Father ex explained, we don't need to be afraid. We can trust him because he is with us, and we can thank him because he has been with us. Together, everyone knelt down by the couch. Father prayed, Dear Jesus, thank you for keeping us safe during the storm. Thank you for protecting us when the lights went out. Help us to always trust you. Amen. When the prayer was finished, mother and father sat back down on the couch and left some room between them for Hero. But Hero just stood there and looked at them. Don't you want to sit on the couch between mother and me, father asked Hero. No, Hero answered, I'll trust God, but I also want to stay on your lap. You, you're a safe place to hide during the storm. The end.